the next stage leave for Texas. In about a half hour. You want me to take your bags over to the depot? Yes, please. It'll be a great place. Good morning, Marshal. Have a cigar? Don't mind if I do. Thanks. You know, I, I've just been reading about this trilling outlaw. He must be quite a fellow. Yes, he sure is. And what makes him so dangerous? Nobody's ever seen him or knows what he looks like. How interesting. But I hope he doesn't get the idea to strike up here. Anything's possible. But if he does, I've got a good idea. He'll stretch rope. <laughs> but how will you recognize him? You say no one's ever seen him. Well, that's right. But you just let me get my hands on one of his men, and the rest will be easy. Oh, Harvey! Harvey, Marshal. Don't you mind? I understand you're taking a thousand bar twenty steers next week to Circle J down in Texas. That's right. What about it? You better keep your eyes peeled. Bud Trilling and his gang are on the loose in that part of the country. Yeah? Don't think they'll try to steal a herd, do you, Sheriff? I'll be surprised if they don't. Oh, they're not rustlers. They're hold-up specialists. Well, there's a first time for everything, Hoppy. Maybe so. For the first time them galoots tangled with us, they'll wish they hadn't. We'll give them a dose of the same kind of medicine I give them Beeler boys down in Colorado. Remember, Hoppy? Sure. Tell them about it. Huh. Huh? Them Beeler boys. Twenty of them. Twenty of them. All a shooting at me. The hot blade was a buzzing around my ears so thick, you might have thought it was a beehive. Finally, I hold up behind some rocks and started a blazing away at them with my old trusty Betsy right. The barrel gets a hot it singe my whiskers. We fought for three days and three nights. Then I ran out of ammunition. What did you do then? Uh, well, uh, I know it was my finish unless I did something pronto. So that night, I snuck down to their camp. Huh? What do you think happened? They killed you. Thanks for the information, Marshal. That's all right. That's all right, warned you. They killed you. Mark. Come on, come on, let's go. Get the gun. 
Thanks, miss, for saving my life. Well, I couldn't very well stand by and watch him shoot you. It's a lucky thing for me you didn't. My name's Jimmy Rogers. Take it back to the bank. Say, you're a stranger in town, aren't you? Yes, I'm Diane Newhall, just passing through on my way back to Texas. A Texan? No wonder you handle a gun so well. <laughs> my father taught me how. He's the sheriff of Prescott. Prescott? Say, isn't the Circle J near there? Yes, about 20 miles. Why? Well, me and my friends are taking a herd of cattle down there next week, and I wondered if you'd mind if I drop in and say hello. Why, no, not at all. I'll have to be leaving now. My stage is going. Well, goodbye. Goodbye. Be seeing you soon. So you got nothing to say, huh? All right, you better start talking. Where's Bud Trilling? You're wasting your time. We don't know a thing about it. Let me work in the marshal. I know a few engine tricks that'll make them sing loud and strong. Thanks. But I think a couple of days without food or water will do the trick. Lock them up. Mr. Cassidy, I may say so. These townspeople here certainly owe you and your friends a vote of thanks. It was simply magnificent. And from what I've just seen, why, I feel it's only a matter of days before this trilling fellow will be behind bars. Oh, I hope you're right. <laughs> Come on, we got work to do. Cigar. Thanks. Thank you. You're welcome. Everything all right? Oh, swell. Uh-oh. Blonde or brunette? What have you been up to? Oh, nothing, Hoppy. <laughs> <laughs> Better round up their horses and put them in the livery stable. Bert. Bert. Yeah. Wait till just before sundown. There'll be horses back at the livery stable. Why don't we meet you at the Pinnacle Rocks tomorrow morning? All right, Charlie. Sundown. How about some chow, Marshal? We're hungry. Yeah, you're going to stay hungry until you tell me where I can find thrilling. Oh, all right. You win. Well, where is he? Turn around and don't make a false move. Get in there. Tie him up and gag him. Mr. 
Try the other trail. Anymore. Maybe not, but just the same, we'll lay low here till morning and wait for the boss. Howdy, boys. Oh, boss. Hi, Hi, boss. Hey, Trilling. It's my idea we go back and raid that bank again this afternoon. They'll probably think we're across the state line by now, and they won't be expecting any trouble. There's no sense taking any chances, Bert. Besides, they got a better plan. Those Bar 20 men are responsible for us losing quite a haul. So, we'll collect from them, with interest. What are you getting at? They're driving a thousand head of cattle to the Circle J in Texas. And we'll be waiting for them somewhere along the trail. It's out of our line. Besides, who are you going to sell them to? Well, a few friends on the border will be glad to take them off our hands. And no questions asked. All right. Get going. something to do with eating. <laughs> You're gone, that's right. Always thinking of your stomach, aren't you? Well, a man's got to eat to live, ain't he? Judging from the amount of grub you pack away, you ought to live to be a hundred. That'll be enough out of you, you young squirt. Seems to me you're always in hand when it comes to second and third helping. Oh, California, that's just because I used to see you grab it all and get indigestion. Indy whack? All right, right on ahead and tell the rest of them we're calling it a day. Get settled down, then strike. You know what to do, Red. Better get busy. All right. Thanks, Jimmy. What's the matter, California? You off your grub? Sharks, no. I get mine. You want to throw a rope around that thing? Here's a kind of hunk, huh? <laughs> don't feel too bad when you're lonely And don't feel too sad when you're blue Don't mope along when things go wrong There's just one thing to do Tie a saddle string around your troubles And you'll find that you'll be happy soon For your troubles disappear like bubbles As you ride along and sing this tune Yippee-yi, yippee-yay, it's a wonderful day Yippee-yi, yippee-yo, roll along Tie a saddle string around your troubles and you'll find your troubles soon are gone. Tie a saddle string around your troubles, and you'll find that you'll be happy soon. For your troubles disappear like bubbles as you ride along and sing this tune. Yippee I, yippee yay, it's a wonderful day. Yippee I, yippee oh, roll along. Tie a saddle string around your troubles. And you'll find your troubles soon are gone. <laughs> Texas, all right, isn't it? Sure thing. What happened to them? Come on, let's get those horses. All right, Bert. Let's ride.
off our herd. All gone the shore caught us with our eyes shut. Well, we got them open now. Let's get busy. Come on. Hoppy! They're heading hurt south. Let me have that horse. Let the boys line up this stock. scattering their horses. By the time they round them up, we'll be well in the clear. Just the same. We better keep our eyes open, not take any chances. Yeah, they caught a couple of them and used them to chase the others down with. Good. Good boy, Jimmy. Come on. Hurt, California? No, nothing but my feelings. How about the outlaws? Uh, we'll take after them as soon as we get our horses rounded up. That'll take some time yet. If we have to. We're right all night. We've got to catch them before they cross the border. What if we don't? We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. the rest, boss, before they start dropping like flies. We pushed them pretty fast last night. All right, Bert, I think we're safe enough now. Besides, I can use some rest myself. Goes for me and the boys, too. Nice spot over there, boss. All right, let's go, Bert. I'll bet that's that trilling gang. It's hard to tell. Spread out your boys and keep your eyes open. Let's have some water.
You all right, California? Yeah, I'm all right, Jimmy. Teach him not to fool with a bar 20. I hope so. Tex, if you get the horses down, we still got a herd to deliver. All right, Hobby. Come on, boy. What happened to you? Oh, it ain't nothing, Hobby. I've been stung worse by a mosquito. Should have stuck to our own line. Them punches are worse than bloodhounds. We're not through with them yet, Bert. I said we we're going to get that herd, and we are. Come on. Time to eat, Hoppy. What again? We just had breakfast a couple hours ago. Well, I could do with a little snack or something. If you like meat, there's a whole herd of steaks. Just throw a rope around one and start chewing. Ah, Hoppy. I'll find some. Hello, oh, California. California, you're the one that's been stealing my pies, huh? Yeah, I, I gotta admit it. Doggone it, Larry, those pies are scrumptious. Best ever sunk my teeth in. Oh, you like my pies, huh? Like them. Doggone it, I just love them. They're even better than Aunt Minnie used to make back in Waukee. You know, California, I've always suspected this, so I baked a nice special pie. All for you. For me, Larry? Yeah. Well, now. No, no, ain't that sweetie. Oh, no, that's all right. Yeah. <laughs> raspberry. Yeah. I love raspberry. And it's all yours. And after this, stay out of my pies. <laughs> well, you finally got your pie, huh? I got it. Larry's made it. Yeah? Good company. Can't be outlaws. They're coming in too openly. Go have a look. They're lawmen. Oh, I see. I wonder what. Oh. Howdy, strangers. Hi, Sheriff. Not to look us over? No, not exactly. We've been trailing that trilling gang outlaws and thought maybe you might have run across them. We did a couple of days ago. They tried to rustle our herd, but we had other ideas. You mean you wiped them all out? No. We only got one. The rest of them got away. And too bad you didn't get the whole gang. You'd have saved me and a lot of other law officers plenty of trouble. Where the ruckus happened? Just north of here in the mountains. Well, thanks. I'll have a look around me. All right. Reach and freeze.
Let's go. Boss, I sure got to hand it to you. Save that for later. Fred, you, Bill, and Joe take these armies to the hideout. You know, Bert, I've changed my mind about taking her to the border. We take them to Circle J. The Circle J? Why, that... Hold on, there's nothing to get excited about. This is a letter to the Circle J owner, identifying the bearer as Hopalong Cassidy, foreman of the Bar 20. What about it? Nothing, except I'm going to be Hopalong Cassidy. And that's not all. After we've sold the herd to the Circle J, we steal them back and sell them somewhere else. Boss, this rustling business ain't so dusty after all. <laughs> Taking Red a long time to come back from the creek. Well, maybe he got tired filling the water cask. He fell asleep. I wouldn't put it past him. Tie a saddle string around your trouble. Larry, find move over a little. Cover me up. For your troubles sing it loud like bubbles as you ride along and sing this tune. Yippee, yippee seems like being held prisoners agrees with them, Jaspers. Okay, yippee, yippee, oh, roll along. Tie a saddle string around your troubles, and you'll find your troubles soon are gone. Tie a saddle string around your troubles, and you'll find that you better ride down and see what happened to Red. If he hasn't fallen in the creek, push him in. Like All right, I will. As you ride along and sing this tune. Yippee-yay, yippee-yay, it's a wonderful day. Yippee-yay, yippee-yo, roll along. Try a saddle string Keep your eyes open for red. Come on, boy, hurry up. Chuck Wagon, meet us at Circle J. Yeah. Where are we going, Hoppy? Pick up the trail of the herd. Come on! Zombies are on the loose. They got Bill and Joe while I was down at the creek after water. They're probably trailing us right now. You better do something quick. I intend to. 
See that canyon over there? Yeah. Hold up and there with the herd until I get back. Where's California? He'll be along in a minute. His horse picked up a stone. Oh, that's too bad. Have you noticed anything peculiar about this trail? No, why? Well, it's not leading to the border. It's heading the same direction we were taking to the Circle J. I don't get it, Hoppy. Trilling's got my papers. Unless I'm badly mistaken, he's going to try to pass himself off as Hopalong Cassidy. You get it now? Well, I'll be a horn toad. Say, why don't we try to beat him to the ranch and surprise him? Well, we better make sure of this first. Come on. Fine time to go lame on me, you wall-eyed hay burner. Ought to send you to the glue factory. Forget that. I'm expecting you home early for dinner. All right, dear. Bye, sweet. Bye. Excuse me. I need help, Sheriff. What's the trouble? Outlaws. They're after a herd I'm taking to the Circle J. I'm Hopalong Cassidy of the 420 up north. Here's my papers. Where's your outfit now? They're holed up in the canyon about five miles north of here. They're expecting an attack at any moment. I'll get a posse together right away. Hey, Bert. There's trilling with a posse. What he's up to, anyway? I don't know, but whatever it is, you can bet it's good. Any sign of those outlaws yet? No, not yet. Any idea who they are? I'm not sure, but I think they're the Trilling Gang. The Trilling Gang, eh? Well, well this is certainly going to be a feather in my hat. Don't you think we ought to push on with the herd, boss? I'm sure the sheriff and his men can take care of them coyotes. We certainly can. Go ahead, Casty. Be sure to drop into my office on your way back. I will. Look, Hoppy. The trail's going into that canyon over there. It's not going to Circle J. Oh, I see. Trilling has an odd way of working, hasn't he? Yeah. Come on. Hold it! We've got your cover! Get on and keep your hands up. You mind telling me what this is all about? You're under arrest, you outlaws. You're riding a tangled trail, Sheriff. We're not outlaws. You can't fool me. You're in the Trilling Gang. The Trilling Gang? And we're after a trail herd belonging to the Bar 20 up north. Is that it, Sheriff? You ought to know. A man calling himself Bill Cassidy told you that and had you set this little trap for us, huh? If it'll make you feel any better, that's exactly what happened. But, Sheriff, that man isn't Bill Cassidy. It's Bud Trilling himself. <laughs> that's the best whopper I've heard in years. I suppose you'll be telling me next that you're Bill Cassidy. Well, I am, but unfortunately, I can't prove it at this minute. I've heard enough out of you. Get back on your horse. Time up, boys. Well, that's that. <laughs>
if I've told you that I'm not Trilling and that these men are not outlaws. But you can't prove that, can you? But haven't I also told you that Trilling stole my papers as well as the herd? Why, hello. Hello, Miss Diane. Say, is this man your father? Yes, that's Dad. Well, would you please tell him that we're not outlaws, that I'm Jimmy Rogers and you this is... you know this man, Diane? Well, just slightly, Dad, I... What about the others? No, I've never seen them before. But Mr. Rogers, the one I told you about, the one who almost got shot in Holbrook. Yes, I'd have been a gone goose if it hadn't been for her. What's this all about, anyway? Your father's convinced that we're all outlaws. Oh, there must be some mistake. Well, Jimmy would never be an outlaw. He'd never have fought against those bank robbers. That doesn't prove a thing. He could have turned bad since then. Sheriff, I respect your office. But for a man of your years and experience, that's a very stupid remark. You can't talk that way to me. Well, I am, and I'd advise you to listen. If you let Trilling get away with this job, you'll not only be the laughing stock of the whole country, but I'll hold you personally responsible. I'll take that chance. But, Dad... These outlaws were going to steal a herd of cattle being driven to the Circle J Ranch. Don't worry about me, Diane. I know what I'm doing. All right, boys. Lock them up. Wait a minute. Isn't there anything you and your friends can do to prove who you are? Yes, but not in time to save our cattle. Hoppy asked your father to wire our boss for a description of us and hold up the sale of the herd until he gets a reply. But he won't do it. Why not? Because Surely. I haven't the legal right to hold up the sale. But under the circumstances... Honey, you'd better run on home and let me handle this in my own way. But, Dad... You heard me. Better go. All right. I will. All right, boys. Lock them up. You stay here, Ed, and keep an eye on them while I go and arrange for some meals. Come on, Bill. You too. Mr. Rogers. Mr. Rogers. that herd to reach the Circle J. We've been in here about an hour. They're probably pushing that herd along pretty fast. They should be there before sundown. Why? You'll find out later. What does she mean by that? Your guess is as good as mine. Howdy, Sheriff. Howdy. I hear you just corralled a gang of ornery outlaws. Is that right? That's right. Maybe they're the same hombres that held me up a couple of days ago and took every last cent I had in this world. They did, huh? Yeah, uh, mind if I take a peek at them? Certainly not. There they are, right in the cell. Howdy. Oh, doggone it, that ain't them. You sure of that? Well, now, maybe I'm kind of crotchety, but my eyes ain't that bad. I wouldn't recognize them skullduggers what robbed me. But, Sheriff, if I ever meet up with them again, I'll salivate the whole shebang. I'll tear them limb from limb. I'll... All right. Thanks, Sheriff. Get him up, quick. Quicker, sir. Drop it. Pretty smart, aren't what? you? That little trick is going to cost you a few extra years in prison. Get in there with the others. You can put them down now. Didn't work. You made a good try, anyhow. Open 
the door. Dad wants you and the other boys up at the saloon right away. He's having some trouble. But who's going to watch them outlaws? Well, I will, Ed. Let's go. No time for questions. Your horses are out back. Now get your gun. California's horses in front. He's lame. Well, I'll get him another one. Miss Diane, this is sure swell of you. Well, I'm doing as much for Dad as I am for you, Jimmy. It'd break his heart to lose his sheriff's badge. Now come on, out the back way. Hurry. Something funny about this deal. I... There he is now. I thought I told you to keep an eye on those outlaws. Yeah, but Diane said you was having trouble over at the saloon and need this pronto. Come on. Here you are. Thank you, miss. I'll show you a shortcut to the Circle J. By thunder, she's turned them loose. Let's get a posse together quick. I have a pretty good idea where they're heading for. Shape, boss. That's fine. We'll hold him here a few days, then start rebranding. Yes, sir. Well, Cassidy, here's the money in cash. I like to get paid that way. I had an idea Buck Peters would, too. All right, he does. And I guess we might as well hit the home trail now. You and your boy look pretty tired. Why not rest up here a few days? Thanks, just the same, but I think we better shove hey, off. Hey, boss. Huh? All right, let's get going. All right. Paid for those cattle? Why, yes, I... You better uh, wait here. No, I'm going along. I can handle a gun. Ask Rogers. Mind telling what all this is about? You'll find out later. Come on, let's get out here.
Box Canyon. Let's get out. Thanks again, Cassidy, for not advertising what a fool I've been. Sure, if anyone can make a mistake, but it takes a pretty big man to admit it. Thanks. Hope I'll be seeing you again, Jimmy. Well, it won't be my fault if you don't, because I'm heading back here right quick. We'd better get started for the bar 22. Goodbye, Diane. Goodbye, Hoppy. Jimmy, don't forget what you said. Wait, I won't. Three days and three nights. California. And then what happened? Well, my gun was empty, so I grabbed my Bowie knife and I sailed right into that grizzly bear. Fellas, it was one of the toughest battles it was ever in. Me and that bear rattled all over the place. Me getting chawed up and him a spouting blood. Then he grabbed me by the arm. I dropped my knife. He thought he had me, but quick as a flash I got away. And I dug my right hand down his throat, dug down deep, braced myself and yanked him inside out. That was the end of him. That sounds like an awful tall tale to me, mister. Well, he was a mighty tall bear. Ha, 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 ha.